Emerson Nangangwa has secured a second term as Zimbabwe's president. In fact, Nangangwa got 52.6% of the vote, defeating Nelson Chamisa of the Citizens Coalition for Change. Now, they got 44%. The country's electoral commission has announced the results late last night. Despite Nangangwa's triumph, his party, ZANU-PF, failed to get a two-thirds majority in parliament. Meanwhile, the Citizens Coalition for Change has launched a citizens' review of the elections. We'll discuss the results now with human rights activist Makomborero Aruzi Fije, who joins me live now from London. A very good morning. Let's talk about these results. There were so many complaints on the 23rd and the 24th of August. Um, some political parties claiming that their faces were not on the ballots. But we are now sitting at a juncture where the election results have been announced and Emerson Nagangwa emerging victorious. What has been your assessment from the other side of, 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 of the continent? Uh, these elections uh, were rigged, extremely rigged. These were the most presently rigged elections uh, in the history of uh, uh, electoral politics not only in Zimbabwe, but in Sadat. I'm sure you saw uh, so the Southern African Development Community elections observer mission was really, for the first time, they took you know, a tough times in terms of being objective with regards to Zimbabwe's elections. And it was clear no one could ignore the brazenness. Uh, for example, the absence of electoral reforms. We all know in 2018, there was the Muslim Commission of Inquiry chaired by the right honorable a, a former president of South Africa, Mr. Kalima Mahand, they endorsed lots of things and uh, recommendations with regards to electoral reforms. They were not implemented. And uh, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission conducted a flawed, highly flawed and controversial delimitation exercise. There was the misuse of the maintenance of Peace and Order Act, and we saw at least 20 opposition parliamentary and council candidates contesting from jails and the courts. Um, they were, the recent amendments to the Criminal Law and Codification Act and Reform Act, it restricted constitutional guaranteed freedoms. And we saw many people getting victimized. We recently saw uh, over 41 Zimbabweans being arrested in a crackdown against uh, the local obs election observers in Zimbabwe. There were abuse of state resources um, in terms of vote buying. Uh, they were accepting nomination fees, which hindered and bad even women. If you but check in this election, the only 11% of women managed to participate. It was very discriminatory in, with regards to gender and also the other, other classifications. Um, we check in terms of the judicial independence. This was the most, most, you know, litigious uh, election ever. We saw at least, at least uh, 20 cases before the courts where the ruling parties and PF was using the courts and abusing the courts to disqualify, to throw spanners in the campaigns of the opposition. We saw a, a procedural candidate, Ms. Sefe Kaskure, getting disqualified. We saw they tried to even disqualify 12 members of, of parliamentary candidates of the Citizens Coalition for Change, who went on to fight back and won all the 12 of them. So, but it helped to, 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 to disrupt their campaigns. There was the absence of the voters' role, and uh, clearly wasn't in charge of this election. There was this as an PF uh, shadow group called FAS. Uh, it was seen and recorded even by various international election observer missions. They were frog marching people uh, to the polls in Chile South. People even voted at gunpoint. And these people are even involved right now in terms of changing and altering the fill-up and forms in terms of the results to align them with this result that has been. Uh, 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 you know, uh, announced. If there were also violence. Tunashe Tsunge was killed. There were people who were uh, assaulted in uh, in Chiretsi, in Tare, in Arare, in, in named them. But the Zimbabwe Republic Police did nothing to arrest them, including murderers of Tunashe Tsunge who were captured live on camera, live uh, on camera, murdering him. They are uh, scot free, nothing was done. The Small Electoral Commission did not even disqualify the candidates who deployed these people to commit this violence. We saw it in, in Bikita, a proprietor of the NPF, a parliamentary candidate committing violence. There was also um, 
a serious contents over the postal voting procedures. They were done surreptitiously, nicotinously. Candidates and the uh, agents from the opposition were not notified. And police officers made many stress calls, prison officers and soldiers. They released credible stress calls where they were saying we are being forced to vote by our commanders. It's not fair and fair. There were no opposition uh, agents. There were no, the opposition candidates didn't even know of this election. So th this was hugely rigged. So they also saw the state media, it was very biased. Then on the voting day, as if this was not enough, we saw a rigging of proportional, you know, uh, uh, levels, you know, earth shattering levels. Uh, there was serious protest suppression, in, especially in Blauai, where we saw uh, polling stations, which are less than five kilometers from the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission headquarters. They re received ballot papers, you know, after six hours and some even after 12 hours when voting was supposed to begin, there was midnight voting. And, uh, but shockingly, in areas 600 kilometers away from the small electoral, uh, electoral headquarters, which in areas which were considered country of strongholds, they are considered strongholds because they are far away from the capital, they are far away from observers, and uh, they could intimidate people without getting observed. If ballot papers, they arrived well in time, voting started well in time. So what they did was to systematically uh, you know, use Zimbabwe Electoral Commission's weaponized incompetence. Right. And, and this was aimed at voter suppression to corrupt Ms. Nelson Chamsa's overwhelming numerical edge in the polls, thus giving Munangagwa a breather to rig elections like he has done. He has announced the results, which have nothing to do with the voting process that happened in the last few days. These results can't be verified. These results are fake. That was human rights activist Makomborero Arusivice saying these results are fake because they cannot be verified on the, uh, e the elections results that were announced last night.